Do you know the differences between digital and analog radio? These two distinct modes are a frequent topic for conversation for anyone involved in ham radio. Whether you're an Elmer who's been involved in the hobby for years, or you just got your ham license, these two modes will have undoubtedly come across your path. The issue is, hams are split on which mode to use. Do you go digital or do you go analog? How are you supposed to decide? We're here to help make that decision a little less confusing and a little more clear. Hi, I'm Cody, W3AMG with BridgeCom Systems. Today, we're going to share exactly what analog and digital radio are, the differences between them, and which one we think will best fit you. To start, let's go over the definitions. Analog radio, as you probably already know, is the older, more typically recognized form of radio. The technology itself is straightforward. You can break it down into two different distinct parts, transmitter and receiver. Transmitter will send out your radio signal, and the receiver will then capture the incoming transmission. The signal is sent via FM or AM modulations. These two types of modulation are amplitude modulation, also known as AM, or frequency modulation, FM. The receiver will capture one of these signals depending on your radio and ultimately share the transmitted information. Operating within a similar structure is digital radio. According to the FCC, digital radio is the transmission and reception of sound processed into patterns of numbers, or digits, hence the term digital radio. In contrast, analog radio processes sounds into patterns of electrical signals that resemble sound waves. Digital radio reception is more resistant to interference and eliminates many of the imperfections of analog radio transmissions and reception. However, there may be some interference to digital radio signals that are in areas far away from the station's transmitter. FM digital radio can provide clear sound comparable in quality to CDs, and AM digital radio can provide sound quality equivalent to the standard analog FM. FM digital radio allows broadcasters to offer additional audio channels to the public using their existing FM frequency. Now that was a lot, so let's break it down. Just like analog, digital transmits and receives. The signal will be shared and another radio will be able to receive or capture that signal. From there, the signal will be played as an audio out of that radio. Here's what makes digital distinct. The signal being sent is first decoded and then compressed into digital information. That data is then transmitted in pieces. This complex process is what makes digital so unique. Compressing and encoding the information allows the radio to avoid interference. Now this may sound a little confusing at first, and it is. Many hands struggle today to find a digital radio that doesn't just provide this new technology of DMR, but also delivers a radio that's easy to use. It's even more challenging to find a digital radio package that has added support. Digital radios comes with tons of programming required, but not if you get a SkyBridge Plus and plug and play package. This plug and play package isn't just the most popular digital radio kit today, but it's also the best value. In your box, you'll receive the Anytone 878 Plus, the single best, most user-friendly radio for transmitting over DMR, the SkyBridge Plus hotspot. This hotspot will act as your own repeater. And BridgeCom University, our certified beginner to expert course. If you don't take action now and order your plug and play package today, you'll spend countless hours trying to understand how to program your radio. Click the link below right now and order your plug and play package. As we said before, when it comes to analog and digital, the main difference you'll really notice is signal quality. This difference is by far the most crucial distinction between the two radio modes. With analog, you will have a signal the same as digital, but it will slowly degrade with the distance from the transmission point. On the other hand, digital will come to carry the same firm, clear signal as long as you're within the transmission range. Most importantly, it connects you to others over the internet. Now, if you've been following ham radio recently, you probably know digital radio has some affiliation with the internet. Digital radio and digital repeaters are networked together via the internet. This system allows you and your buddies to connect not just to your local area, but also across the entire world. Basically, with digital radio, you can talk and listen with thousands of fellow hams without ever having to fight for a signal. These differences come in many pros and cons, but which one do we recommend for you? Well, it depends. Both of these radio modes will serve you and provide you with the ability to transmit, but we have a few recommendations. If you're just looking for a radio that will work, it's easy to get a feel for, but doesn't provide as many opportunities to make contact, then analog radio is for you. But if you're trying to find a radio that's a little bit more expensive and has a much greater calling range, crystal clear audio and voice quality, superior coverage, 
and added software customization, then we recommend digital. Although it requires some programming, it makes up for it in terms of QSOs, and by utilizing the internet, you'll be able to connect with hams all across the world. If digital radio does anything, it keeps you connected. Do you have questions about analog or digital radio that wasn't covered today? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss out on another great video like this. Thanks again for watching. I'm Cody, W3AMG with Bridgecom Systems, 7-3.